Dr. Ari, maybe you can start by telling us. Uh, you, you can introduce yourself, tell us more about Premier Rehab and Wellness Center, what you do here, the services you offer. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Dr. Hamisi Kotayali. I'm a chiropractor specialized in fascia manipulation by STECO. Uh, Premier Rehab and Wellness Centers, which is now transformed into the Human Garage, uh, started in the year 2015. And when, uh, sorry, 2013. And when we started uh, Premier, it was supposed to be a, a clinic that offers uh, services for back pain. Uh, at that time, we used to call it uh, Premier Spine Centers. Over the time, uh, we, have, we have changed our practice and we have grown our practice to, uh, to have a more holistic uh, way of looking at the human body. So um, at the Human Garage, we provide wellness services. What does that mean? It means that we focus on restoration of human functionality um, because over time, we end up losing our functionality. For example, uh, squatting. For example, touching your toes. For example, bending forward. Um, for example, um, even just turning, you know, touching, being able to scratch your back, being able to bring your hands and crossing them together. A lot of us have lost those movements now. And as a result of that, we are experiencing variety of pain in different areas. It can be in the shoulders, it can be in the back, it can be in the neck, it can be headaches, it can be in the feet. But when we looked uh, more, uh, more deeply, we realized that there is also a huge connection between musculoskeletal pain and uh, uh, internal dysfunction, or rather what happens within our gut. <clears throat> so, uh, and this was brought about by the study of fascia. Uh, you know, the more I've studied fascia, uh, I've incorporated a lot of how the body works now on entirety. So we look at uh, the body functionalities in relation to how the body interacts with the environment. Uh, the human body has something we call the innate intelligence. Innate intelligence is that ability for the body to heal itself, to, reco to, re to recover from whatever illness you have. And then whatever is outside us is called universal intelligence. Okay? So universal intelligence is the environment. So, this, so the innate intelligence and the universal intelligence, these two forces work together. So the human body normal, we find it acts more like, if you may, a net where things come in and they go out. So when you breathe, you breathe in and then you breathe out. So there is always that positive and negative uh, feel. When we looked now with that in mind, then we are able to look at, we are able to divide the human body uh, according to how the body moves. The human body moves in three planes of motion. These planes of motion are, one is flexion, yeah. extension, mm -hmm. then there is side mm -hmm. and side, and then there is rotation yeah. and rotation. We also realize that even the internal organs will also follow the same. They will be moved, they, will, they work according to how we move. So we ended up having to come up with three pillars of health. And these th three pillars of health are, one is the structure, that's the head to toe, mm -hmm. whatever makes the framework. Yeah. And number two is metabolism. It's what feeds this structure, mm -hmm. the fuel yeah. that runs the structure. And number three, it's the current. The human body generates a current every time, every, every so often. If you don't generate the current, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So. So that then we came up with the three pillars of health. Now, with the three pillars of health, we realized that for you to treat the three pillars of health, you also have to have three ways of looking at the patient. You, are, you need to have structure work. So we use fascia manipulation and chiropractic to realign and correct any tension or imbalance in the structure. Okay. Then we use nutrition mm. to feed the structure so that the structure can perform and be able to, it's like a plant, to be able to germinate and work as it should. And number three, exercise. Exercise help the body to produce the current. Mm -hmm. So we end up having the three pillars of health. So here in the Premier we live on wellness centers. When, I, when you come here, it doesn't matter what you have. It could be pain, it could be acidity, it could be constipation, it could be just a lack of sleep, it could be stress, it could be just you want to be well. Mm -hmm. You know, you just want to text wellness. Mm -hmm. We come up here and we take you through um, a consultation. And in the consultation we want to first of all understand what has happened to you from when you were born to now. If we are able even to know the history before birth is important, mm. okay? We want to understand that so that we can understand what has happened over time. Then, we, after we have taken the history, we, wanna, uh, we do um, uh, scans to be able to see how do you distribute weight from right to left mm -hmm. so that we can see, are you dominant on one side mm -hmm. or are you dominant on the other side? Are you flat-footed 
or are you pronating? What is happening to your to your structure? Right. The next thing that we do is to check um, what you call muscle, nerve, and organ. So we as you see these nerves, they come out of here. So mm -hmm. as they come out of the spinal cord, mm -hmm. they are going to supply and infect our organ. But before they get to the organ, they have there's a muscles that they'll have to go through. Right. So we test to see if there is any tension or compression or pressure on the nerve that is affecting how the muscle works, that is affecting how uh, the, the, the organ works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're together? Yeah. So we test, these three, we, we test those three. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we take you into the third testing, where now in the third testing, we, we do what is called functional movement screening. In the functional movement screening, we are looking at functionality. We are testing five uh, tests. We have, I mean, seven tests. Yeah. These seven tests are, um, are able to test a global perspective of how the body moves. Mm -hmm. And we want to see if you do a squat, do you have pain? Okay? Yeah. If you touch your toes, do you have pain? Mm -hmm. If you if you would tell you to do a push-up, is there pain? Right. If you tell you to touch to hold your shoulder, is there pain? We want to test all this and then be able now to break that into mm -hmm. specific, to be able to know exactly where the pain is coming from. Mm -hmm. Once we have understood that, we have now the weight distribution, the nerve, muscle, organ tension, and now uh, the area of pain, then we are able now to sit down and create what we call a report of finding. Mm -hmm. And the report of finding now we are able to tell you what we find it's affecting you yeah. to cause the pain or to cause the dysfunction mm -hmm. and then we tell you now how we're going to approach it through chiropractic fascia manipulation nutrition and exercise okay yes great so dr it's good that you've been able to explain all that so is it that there's not really so much difference between chiropractic and uh, fascia manipulation no, there's, the two are different, but they work. They have, they, they have a synergy. They work together. They help each other. Let me explain. Fascia manipulation is about tensional network. The human body has a net. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A net that covers is like a suit that covers the entire body that allows you to be able to bear forward and back, side and side and rotation. Okay. At the same time, uh, the, the, the the bones provide that tension, they provide that framework, they hold the fascia and the muscles into a stretched, if you may, uh, a, 3D, um, a 3D position, yeah. tension network. Right. So when the bone gets misaligned in the spine, mm. there has to be a, ma a fascia, fa a fascia that, that is being pulled on one side. Mm. So we have to look at where is the pull coming from, so that we, we release the pull, then you can manipulate the spine for alignment. Great. So for someone who wants to see you, mm -hmm. do they have to have gone through a normal, um, a general uh, doctor before they are referred to come here or they, they can just walk in here and express themselves? Uh, it can work both ways. Um, but right now, 90% uh, of our patients are patients who just walk in. As a chiropractor and as a fascia manipulation therapist, you're yeah. trained um, well enough to be able to know what cases you can handle mm -hmm. and what cases you cannot handle. Mm -hmm. so, there, so, so, so when a patient comes here and we have done the assessment as I've explained to you, right. we are able to know who can we help and who can we cannot help. Mm -hmm. And then we also have medical doctors we work with mm -hmm. who also now, they have cases that they have treated for some time, they don't respond, they're not changing, mm -hmm. then they send them to us. The same, we have cases that we treat and don't get better and then we send to them. So it's, we have a symbiotic, if you may, uh, relationship with, 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 the, with the other doctors. Okay, great, that is good. Now, what do most of your clients present themselves with when they come here? What, what is the complaint that you get the most in regards to maybe the pain? Um, back pain is the big one. Mm -hmm. um, however, yes. however, yes. when you listen to the back pain, it's not back pain because mm -hmm. If you ask them before the back pain, what was they having before? Mm -hmm. Most of them have digestive problems. Uh -huh. Digestion is so big, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Digestion and hormonal imbalance are the key, are, are the most complaints that people have. Why do I say so? Yeah. Because almost all back pains who mm -hmm. come here, mm -hmm. they, have, they have acidity or they have constipation or they have gas. Mm -hmm. They have problems with sleep. Um, and <clears throat> The same, um, th these people, they, they, if you listen to their story, mm -hmm. they have had this thing on off yeah. for quite some time before uh -huh. their back pain. Now, most people don't relate gas, constipation, yes. that, and all that acidity mm -hmm. to your back. But 
Since I told you in the beginning that the body moves in three planes of motion and internal organs are also attached to the musculoskeletal system, it means if you have tension on the musculoskeletal system, you have tension on the organs. Okay, and that is what causes um, what you call parastosis, the movement of fluids, mm -hmm. the movement of food, yes. even breathing, mm -hmm. it's all about parastosis. So what is parastosis? Parastosis is the movement, movement of this food. So what happens is that there's normally, a con this, let's assume there's an intestine, for example, or, yeah. or even, even, even your throat. Mm -hmm. When you want to swallow saliva, mm -hmm. the first thing is tighten, closes, mm -hmm. then opens, mm -hmm. then stretch, mm -hmm. then closes and the food keeps on moving. So it's that action of close, stretch, open, close, stretch, open, like that. Yeah. You know, that's how the food moves. So whenever there's a restriction on the muscles on the outside, mm -hmm. and then that tension goes in the inside, it causes these pipes of digestion, these pipes of circulation, mm -hmm. these glands to get what? To get kind of compressed. Right. When they get compressed, that organ does not function 100% as it should. Okay, so you start having a dysfunction. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to still use the gut, uh, and I, and maybe use, I use the gas. Mm -hmm. When you eat food, there's a time that is required for the food to get here and to get out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so within a 24 hour clock. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever that timing, that clock is messed with, mm -hmm. then we have a problem. We either have fermentation taking longer than it should. So if, ferment, if, if let's say ferment food in the gut was supposed to stay for two minutes, and now it's staying for wow, 10 minutes. Yeah. Then there's more fermentation, meaning there'll be more production of gas. Mm -hmm. So it'll be bloated. If it's constipation, the food is, you're not able to, you're not going to the toilet for three, four days, or one yeah. week. Yeah. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're harboring, you're harboring, you're recycling waste. Because the body still wants to suck whatever is inside there. But this, remember, is already have been used. The body has already like uh, squeezed everything in it. It's supposed to be ex um, uh, waste. Yeah. But now, if it stays in the body for long, mm -hmm. what happens to waste material? When you, when waste even in the house, it starts rotting, yeah. it starts smelling. So what happens is that it causes a corrosion in the, in the lining of the gut. Mm -hmm. And that's when people develop what they call the leaky gut. And then the leaky gut allows the body now to start seeping in bigger particles, instead of micro particles, start having macro particles, which causes what fatigue, causes that exhaustion, then causes the body to start having a reaction or an inflammatory reaction. Mm -hmm. Then this inflammatory reaction causes the body to have more mucus. Mm -hmm. And then all these mucus now, you change the ecosystem of the body. Mm -hmm. And you know, we know the gut is the second brain. Is the seed of our health, is the biggest lymph node. Yeah. yeah. We are taking a short break. When we come back, we'll be discussing more with the doctor about chiropractic treatment. We are talking about fascia manipulation therapy. And don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. This is Health Journal. on the next episode of Kenyan Gospel Hits. Kenyan Gospel Hits Mondays from 11 p.m. only on Look Up TV. Turn your 50 bob into a million shilling investment. Changamka and Shindagari Chap Chap with Hometel. There's millions in shillings worth of prizes to be won. Send your 50 bob to pay bill number 404153 and get a chance to win 20,000 shillings daily. And each week, one person gets a chance to walk away with a Mazda Demio and another a Beth Mobility Motorbike. Remember, the more times you try, you could be the winner of a fantastic Toyota Prado. Do not be left out. Send 50 shillings to pay bill number 404153 
Registry, account name Lokab TV, and get yourself a Hometel lucky number. Sangamka and Shindagari Chub Chub with Hometel promotion. For more information, visit www.shindagari.co.ke. Terms and conditions apply. Worldwide, world, worldwide. <laughs> Welcome back to Health Journal with me, Rachel Lanyango. We are talking about chiropractic treatment. We are talking about chiropractic care, fascia manipulation, nutrition, diet, supplements, fitness, all happening here at Premier Rehab and Wellness Center. So as, I, as I've told you, uh, we work on the fascia. So what is the fascia? The fascia, as I said, is this layer, is the skin underneath the skin, mm. okay? And we assume that our patient here, we have removed the actual skin. Mm -hmm. Now, what we have, mm -hmm. we are seeing now the muscles. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's how you see them, like the musculoskeletal system. Mm -hmm. But what we need to also understand is that these muscles are not just, you know, a piece of meat stuck here, a piece of meat stuck here. They are... Uh, pieces of meat, yes, but in an envelope. Mm -hmm. So it means the fa this, this mm -hmm. is the fascia, mm -hmm. and the fascia now, if you look at this muscle, we call it the rectus abdominis, this muscle. Uh -huh. it's, and it's inside the fascia. Okay. That's why you see the white stuff. Uh -huh. together? Mm -hmm. That's why you see all this white stuff. The white stuff you see is the fascia. Okay. Now, now, the fascia is an elastic tissue. Mm -hmm. Okay? It, pulls it pulls mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and therefore if <coughs> if a patient for example like him had a surgery on the stomach mm -hmm. yeah the, mm -hmm. the doctor comes and do a, 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 a surgery an incision there mm -hmm. when he finishes he has to pull this and he has to pull this right to die mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so you still see he causes problems this way mm -hmm. causes problem that way this way and this way because the tension is not even distributed and he has to suture here that's why you find C-sections don't heal. They are always sensitive with many years after the lady has finished giving birth. Yeah, and, and you find a lot of people complaining of backaches after that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So, so with that understanding, so we want to ask all questions about trauma, anything that could have affected the body, either a broken bone, dislocated bone, sprained, important. Mm -hmm. Then we step aside from that. Then we ask, from when you're a child, things like recurrent flu, Things like tonsillitis, things like sinus, things like allergies, things like stomach upset, uh, things like sleep. We want to understand all those. Why? Because they provide part of the autonomic nervous system that now affects things from the inside. You get, they affect the internal organs. Then once we have been able to put this together, then we are, now we start to think, we create a hypothesis. In fascia manipulation, we don't do a diagnosis, we do a hypothesis, what we think happened. So once you have understood that, then now we can now use the scans to be able now to check mm -hmm. how you're distributing weight, yeah. how you, what nerves are compressed, what organs, so that then we can start seeing, is our hypothesis matching the findings? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then when we take you to the gym and you're doing the exercise, you said you have pain in the morning when you wake up to sleep, or when you wake up, when you wake up to walk. Yeah? But now when you put him in the gym, he doesn't have any heel pain. But my knee hurt when I squat. Yeah. You understand? Right. So it still tells us, yes, that then the ankle pain is not really on the ankle. Mm -hmm. Because if he doesn't feel it now, mm -hmm. when you test it, mm -hmm. it means it's not in the ankle. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yeah. But then he's still having gas and bloating. And when we come and look at the knee and we look around the knee, there's no pain. You can't, like, you can't physically produce the pain. Mm -hmm. But he says, when I do squatting, I feel the pain. Mm -hmm. You get? Yeah. So you also realize this is also a symptom. Like, like that one. Are we together? Right. So you come here to the gas. When you come to the gas, now you, 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 you want to understand, is it all the time? Mm -hmm. 
is it on specific food or it just comes you get and then from there you want to understand does he get also get headaches yeah yeah has he had any dental work if yes when was the last dental work because you can have dental work and then develop very severe knee pain. Right. Okay. And they're two unrelated. You can, it's very difficult sometimes to connect the two, but you can have dental work and develop very severe knee pain. Mm. Or you can have knee pain, <laughs> knee work, and then develop very severe dental. So it's, it's, it works like that. So it's, it's, in, it's, it's in following this pattern and following these um, events, what has happened over time, step mm. after time, that you end up understanding what caused the body to wrinkle and how do you unwrinkle it. Great. So now that you've identified, now we are talking about treatments, you've decided maybe what treatment will you use on him? For example, so let's say he has gas and bloating. Mm -hmm. If he has gas and bloating, I'll use fascia manipulation. Okay? Yeah. So for us to treat him, we need to be able to examine the internal problems because we have, a, we have, a, we have, a, we have, we have established that his oldest problem is tonsillitis. So to show you how I'll do fascia manipulation. So let's say we found issues on the chest, we found issues on the head, and we are found on the knee. So I'll come here on the line that I found, and I'll work with my thumb, I mean with my, with my, with my hand. I rub the point, initially it feels like a needle, very sharp. Sometimes it also spreads a lot of sensation everywhere. Then I check the other one. I also need to do the same. So again, <clears throat> So again, I will, I will rub the spot until you feel a release. So you feel the release and the patient feels the release. Okay. Both of you feel the release. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I release, let's say, there. Uh -huh. And then um, I may ha maybe I found a point here. Mm -hmm. So again, I will work on this until it's released. The other side, mm -hmm. work on it, it's released. And for example, maybe we also had something here on the feet, here. Yeah. So again, release that. And if the other side had also release. So once you have released, you ask the patient to test mm -hmm. the movement that okay. was painful. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to know, have you affected any change? Mm -hmm. If you have had it done in the collectory, the pain should disappear immediately. The patient should feel, yeah, I can. I was not able to do this movement, but now I can do it. You feel, they feel it's easy, mm -hmm. it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have done that, then now I do the chiropractic checks. So lie on your stomach. Okay. Yeah. Hands on the side. Yeah. So in chiropractic checks, mm -hmm. uh, we want to look at the leg length first. So for us to know if there's a body alignment, you want to come and, 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 and and, and check the leg length. So you push both legs together. And then you wanna see if you bend them, what happens? Can you see a difference? Can you see a difference? Yeah. This is shorter, mm -hmm. this is longer. Mm -hmm. But when you're here, they're equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So then the, when, then you need to ask him, what happens when I push here? In a pain on the back? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So we wanna know, okay. But even before I check on the back, I want to ask him to see if that is going all the way to the neck. Turn your neck this way. There's no change. This other side. There's no change. Okay. So I come here and see. If I push here, yeah. you see? And if I push here, this is like a block. Yeah. This, you see this one is playing? Mm -hmm. This is a block. Okay. It doesn't move. Right. So we have, and this is the leg that was turning longer. Yeah. So we know there's, there's a restriction somewhere on, on this bone. Okay. This bone has, so whatever I'm testing is this joint. Because okay. this joint is supposed to be able, supposed to be able to play like this. Okay. But this is not playing as it should. Mm. So. So I'm pushing here just to check. So we're seeing we have a lock here. And I also want to check to see if the vertebras are having an issue. Painful? So I'm pushing the vertebras, this one, to the side to see. Here. 
the other spain okay here yeah. let me check the other side they are also the spain so you see this one is lower this one is upper so and here yeah. so i know i need to manipulate this mm -hmm. first this mm -hmm. then this mm -hmm. then this this and here mm -hmm. so how do you do that lie on the side facing that way so i start by manipulating this bone okay come to the edge What we do is we ask the patient to relax. Okay. There you go. Okay. Is <laughs> it painful? Is it pain it's not painful. Okay. The other, ah. the other side. Come on, this way. Then come to the edge. Bend the leg. So now we go to the better bra above. Mm. You see now I hold it upper. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then when you're facing up with our way, I wanna check for me the neck and see. More these are these. Yeah. On your stomach? Okay. So we had pain here, we have to check again. Still painful? 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 Okay, so to manipulate that one, I go, don't hold it, right? There you go. Okay. This is not painful anymore. Painful? painful? So doctor, how many, how many sessions of treatments uh, should one uh, go for when you're doing this treatment? About six. Six, okay. Six is the average number of sessions we find most people respond well. Yeah, face up. Most people would be pain free in about six visits because you see everything is about the body to change. Okay. So you have to also to make sure you also adjust the feet because if you don't adjust the feet again, you are leaving an, an, a crucial part of, 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 of alignment. On your stomach again, let's check and see if we get balanced. So, the legs now are equal. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure on the back. So, 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 so once you have now cleared that, the patient needs to do specific exercises mm -hmm. as per the assessment that we did previously so that now the exercise that they do now help strengthen what we have done because all I've done is loosen this that's all I've done mm -hmm. is loosen this so I need to do exercises so that whatever has loosened up can stretch out and be firm okay. and then also now the nutrition the nutrition comes in to to boost because you need to feed it for the for the structure to function properly you need to feed it and the exercise is to stabilize it, to make it strong. Well, this conversation will be continuing next week. So join us again next week, same time, same place, only here on Health Journal. Catch it on Look Up TV for more on our body's musculoskeletal system. On the next episode of Kezia. Uh -huh.